hey cc squad so in today's video i'm gonna start off by applying this glue to my head this is the ghost bond glue and let me just tell y'all like the braids underneath i felt like the more braids the merrier i felt like if i had bigger braids of course you would like see that it's lit giving wiggy so i wanted to, it to be kind of flat i wanted it to look like it's on my head i wanted to look professional i'm not a professional but I wanted to give that professional vibe. And I feel like I'm a beginner, so I wanted to record myself to see if I can share with the girls the tutorial so they can, you know, slay their hair too. So nextly, I just blended my foundation onto my cap. I did not show how I cut my cap because it just was unnecessary. I felt like it was too blurry to be trying to, you know, look in the camera, look into the mirror. But I cut my cap. I blended it with foundation. It's super easy. And I definitely did have to make sure my foundation was dry. I mean, my glue was dry before I proceeded to the next step because we don't want it to be tacky or anything like that. So make sure you are cleaning up your hairline after you apply that glue. Clean up that hairline. You don't want that tacky feeling after you install your wig because that's how you know you didn't do everything properly. So as you guys can see, I'm just adjusting the wig to my head. And as you guys can see, it's giving very much so not natural at this point, but it's laying flat enough for me to not feel like it looks wiggy. Like it was super like, it, it fit my head well. And I feel like I have a big head. So I was so happy that my wig fit it and I didn't have to like do the most to make sure it was, I don't know, like I didn't have to use no combs in the back. It just fit me like a glove. So nextly, I'm just trying to leave out a little baby hair. I'm not doing nothing crazy, you know. I'm a beginner. I'm not a hairstylist, so I don't really even know what I'm doing. It's all an experiment, and that's what the fun thing about hair is. You just experiment, you learn, you grow. So, like, buy you some cheap wigs, some affordable wigs, and just experiment. Put on the YouTube tutorial and figure it out. It's not science. It's not rocket science, okay? Like, applying wigs are super easy compared to braids in my opinion. So y'all might need to lean in on this part of the video, like lean in, pay attention. So <laughs> I'm playing, but for real though, like pay attention. Cause this is the trick when it comes to making sure that glue is not tacky, making sure you're about to make sure it's melted after you apply the glue and all that stuff. I feel like this is a important step which is applying your layers of glue, evening that glue out. And when I go in to blow dry this glue, I'm blow drying it on a cool setting. And I'm pretty much trying to count like one minute intervals um, around my like perimeter of my hair where I'm applying the glue. So remember what I just said. When you're applying your layer of glue, make sure you blow dry that layer of glue on a cold setting on a cool setting and you don't have to have super thick layers because we're gonna layer this up like i'm doing three layers on this wig so i make sure it's not going nowhere you can pull you can tug that that wig is not going nowhere okay So as you can see in this clip, that wig glue, that bolt hole glue is super like invisible. It's just how I want it, but I'm going to go ahead and add another layer because I don't want it to completely dry. So I'm adding another layer. So this might be my second layer and I'm in total, I'm having three layers of glue because I really want this hair to hold and I really want it to be like 
super doable because you know depending on if you're sweating outside etc you don't want your wig going nowhere like that's so embarrassing so i'm doing three layers and i'm doing what i just what you just saw so just keep watching and comment down below if you do this method or if you have a easier method let me know down below also let me know what type of products you use to lay your wigs because you know i'm a beginner with this so you might can help me with some constructive criticism in the comments down below So as you can see, that glue is ready and we're going to go ahead and let that wig lay. Um, and we're going to just start working on laying this wig and slaying this wig. We're going to melt this wig and we're going to do all the things to make this look more, more so less wiggy and more so giving. Cherry Bomb Red. So the thing that you're going to see in this video is, yes, this is a T-part wig, but it's like it's not giving T-part wig to me. It's giving like cute. It's giving like how much did you spend on your hair in the install? Like you can buy some affordable options and not break the bank because we're not there yet. You know what we get wigs sent to us back to back, back to back, back to back. So I'm just living within my means and I'm really just doing affordable options. Rather that's a U-part wig, a T-part wig half up half downs braids i'm doing everything that's affordable where i can save money but still look cute so don't think you gotta spend three four five eight hundred dollars on a lace front wig when you can really buy you a t-part wig you're a beginner so you can you know apply it yourself and not break the bank so that's what i'm all about if you want to see more videos like that definitely tune in and stay like your notifications on keep your notifications on because i have more videos coming like this where i'm just finding affordable options always wanted to do red so here he goes cherry red wig plus my man like it so i'm like i'm about to buy a wig and we're about to see what it's giving so i like it and i'm, I'm definitely buying more So now the girls can see that I'm running my hot comb through my hair and primarily through the roots and the hairline because I really want to try to melt that, try to make it more so scalp. If it's not scalp, I'm making it flat. So as you can see from where, where I first put it on, it was given wig. It was given costume wig. But now I'm just really trying to get that flat as I can get it and not bone straight because i'm really just focusing on my roots i will come in and go over the rest of my hair with a flat iron but right now i really wanted that root to be down and to be as flat as possible
So the big reveal, the hair is laid. It's laid. It's laid and it's laid. Um, as you guys can see, I'm not doing too much with the perimeter so far, like plucking and stuff like that. I didn't want to overly pluck because this is a T-part wig. And I feel like the more you pluck, the less hair. Like, you know, like when you install hair, how it eventually is going to bald. Eventually the hair is going to fall out. I don't got too much hair that I'm working with with the T-part wig. So I didn't even want to play with plucking it. And I still feel like the overall end result was cool. Maybe next wig I get, I can play with plucking. But this time I was just thinking to myself that I didn't have a lot of lace to work with because it's a T-part wig. And I didn't want to overly pluck and then I end up looking bald-headed by my third install. So right now I'm just cutting the lace and I ended up actually applying another layer of glue because I felt like it wasn't all the way laid how I wanted it to be. But if you want to go ahead and spray some got to be glue instead of using the ghost bond, go ahead and do that. But I think I was just really trying to lay it. I didn't want it to lift up at all due to sweating, due to water. I didn't want my wig to lift up, so I went ahead and used the ghost bond. But the got to be glue definitely would have laid it down and melted it the same, like it would look the same. So if you want to do that, do that. But I did not do that. So I just wanted to add that how I'm cutting my lace is not in any particular way. I just try my best to try to like to do zigzags as I'm cutting across like but I'm not doing it in a pattern. I'm just trying to do it kind of rough, kind of unseen. You can't see a straight line across my scalp because I feel like when you're just cutting straight across, that's giving wig. That's giving mm, she got a lace front on. She don't know what she's doing type of vibes but I'm telling you I was really trying to give professional like I got my hair done at the professionals but I didn't and I think I did a good job but towards the end if you definitely wanted to apply a little foundation go ahead and do that and I think your hair will be laid but for me I didn't even try that right now So I definitely wanted to keep this part of the video in because I feel like we're not perfect. I'm not a professional stylist. I don't be putting on wigs and stuff like that. I feel like I'm a beginner. So I wanted to record myself from start to finish and to see where I messed up and to see what I can do better. And looking at it, maybe I should have uh, applied the wig a little sooner instead of letting it completely dissolve and become more transparent. But it's cool. It's cool. So I ended up putting the layer of glue all over the perimeter. Then I just wrapped it up and let it air dry because at that point my arms were tired. After applying my final layer of glue, y'all are about to see the um, the final product. Like, I feel like I really did lay this for a beginner. Like, it's giving, I, I'm going to keep saying it, it's giving scalp. Look at that. Like, look at that hairline. It looks so clean. It looks so just effortless. And it, it's giving professional for me. So, one of the things that I did upon taking that off is just... Making sure I go in with a flat iron and the pressing comb and making sure I'm melting that lace. So it might hurt a little bit trying to get super, super close to the scalp, but that's literally how you melt it. So right there, it did hurt. But I'm like, you know what? I'm about to hold it here. I want it to get hot. I want it to melt and I want it to be more seamless. The extra step I could have took um, when I finished this was to, you know, just touch it up with a little foundation, which a lot of people don't tell you. They be using a little foundation and they definitely be having filters on their videos. But you know what? I'm not a professional, so I'm not even mad at myself. 
So peep the way that I did my baby hairs. I'm not no expert again. I'm not no expert. But I feel like I did okay with the baby hairs. Like first I had to go ahead and flat iron it or curl it. Then I just applied my little mousse so I can get it to the way I wanted to get it. And then after I applied my mousse to it to like give it its shape, I went ahead and put my um, edge control on there. And the final step after the edge control would have been to just apply the got to be spray. But I literally did not use got to be spray in this video yet. So that's one thing you guys have to keep in mind is when you're laying your baby hairs, how you want it to get its shape. I think the key factor is that mousse. we have finished this is the final product this is the complete install and yes i'm actually happy with it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one